There are multiple ways to get evidence out of Minecraft to be used for assessment, but at its core Minecraft is a 3D game. We actually have a block in game called a structure block that allows me as a student or as a teacher to export a 3D model from the game. So let me show you how this works. Right in front of me down here, I have a structure block buried in the ground. It's this purple and black block right in front of me. Structure blocks are based on Minecraft coordinates. In order to turn on and off coordinates, I hit the escape key on my keyboard, go into settings, scroll down over here on the right, and I want to select this toggle right here that says show coordinates. Once I do that and go back into my game, you can see it'll tell me it updates the game rule, and it now puts my position in game on the top left of my screen. The way that Minecraft coordinates work is that X and Z coordinates, the first coordinate and the third, are the ones that help you move laterally, left and right in this case, and forward and back. So you can see those numbers change as I slide to the left and right, and as I slide forward and back. The Y value in Minecraft is actually my altitude or my depth. So if I double click on the space bar and fly up into the air, you can see that number change, and as I descend, you can see that number drop. The reason this is important is because of the structure block setup. The way a structure block works is it captures a three-dimensional space. And in order to do that, I need to use the X, Y, and Z coordinates. Now the X coordinate is going to go out laterally, and so is the Z coordinate. But the Y coordinate will go by height. So you can see right now that's at 10. And if I change that to something like 3, you can see how it shrinks down the amount of space that I've captured. So let me change that back to 10. Similarly, if I change the x value from 9 to something like 4, it's actually going to do almost a cutaway of this fountain. So you can see that as I scroll and move this around. This is really handy for things like science projects or history projects when you want your students to create a full build of something but then cut it away in order to export kind of a half view into what's going on on the inside of a plant or animal cell or of the Great Pyramids of Giza. I can decide down here on the bottom whether I want to include the entities and players. Um, I can also decide if I want to remove the blocks. I almost never use this. It seems pretty silly to do an export with none of the blocks there, but you can do that if you wish. Up here on the top right, you name your file. So in this case, I've named it Fountain. And on the bottom, there's an export button right here that's available to you. By clicking the export button, I can decide to name my file and save that file wherever I like. So in this case, I'm saving my file name as Fountain. It's going to save as what's called a GLB file that can be used in a variety of 3D products on a Windows 10 device. So let me go ahead and hit export. I'll wait a moment for that file to export for me. I'll minimize Education Edition, and you can see the Fountain file is right here. I'm going to click on that Fountain file and open that file with one of these apps that's available with Windows 10. 3D Builder is used for 3D printing. Paint 3D is for things like labeling and shading my build. So maybe I'm labeling the different organelles in a plant cell or an animal cell. Mixed Reality Viewer is a really nice way to be able to view the build that's going on. So by opening this up, you'll see I'll get my welcome screens. I can close out of that. And now here I have a model view of the 3D object that I have taken out of Minecraft and exported for use. And obviously I can save this GLB file as well. So when I'm looking for real evidence out of the game for my students, I really want to make sure I'm using the 3D export functionality uh, in order to really use Minecraft to its full potential.